Welcome to our 22nd video with data structures and algorithms. And we are going to do an example of a red black tree. So uh, it's basically just a, a type of binary search tree. So we're going to use those operations for insert. Um, but it's got some special properties, as you should know, um, that help it to, to be uh, to stay balanced. So we're going to insert these numbers here in uh, that order uh, from one to six. So let's start. So the first thing that we do is we insert a red node. So you're going to do this, right? That's just a little bit, let me just redo that. So we are going to insert one, that's okay. And I'm gonna show the nil nodes or the null nodes uh, so that we can use them, uh, which we will do in just a second. So we've inserted one, but we know that one of the properties is that uh, the root cannot be a black node. So we are going to change the color. Okay, so there's that. And we are good. So, so far, uh, this is what our red black tree looks like. Now we're going to insert two. Let me just write that here, insert two. And it's a binary search tree, so it's greater than one, so it's going to go to the, to the right. All right, so I'm going to redraw. This video may take a while because we're going to keep redrawing these, but I think it's good uh, to see what's happening. So here is our two. And like I said, I'm going to draw all of these. Okay, we have no violations, right? Our black height is still good, right? Uh, and that is from any node uh, down to a leaf node. We have the same number of black nodes, right? Through every path from that one node. So we've got two here, two, and two, right? And we're good. So let's insert three. Uh, we're just going to go down here. My arrows are going to go kind of all over the place, but they should be pretty self-explanatory. So let's insert three. We've got a one here. And then our two. Let's draw that. And then we have right now and then three. and it's two nodes. Okay. So we have a violation here, clearly. Um, right, you can't have two, a red node has to have two uh, black child nodes. It can never have a red child node, which we're violating. So uh, we have a number of cases, right, that we look for uh, that tell us um, what we need to do, how to fix this. So this would be a case three, a case three, because the uncle node right here, right, even though it's null, it's a black node, it's still, it's, it's there. So this is a case three, right? This is also a right child, right, of another right child. So that also tells us another thing to do. So what we're gonna do is uh, left rotate, I'm gonna abbreviate, around the grandparent, which is one. So let's do that. So two becomes the root. And one becomes a left child. And it takes on the left child of two. Right, that's why now it's got this. And then we have our three node here. And it's two null child nodes. Okay, now again, that was only part of it. We also have to change these colors. Okay, and I'm, I wanted to just point that out by uh, doing this again. We're gonna write color. So two will be a black node. One will now be a red node. 
right? We just swapped the colors of these two nodes. Uh, we also have three is red. And then all of the um, nil nodes on the end. Okay, and now we're good. So let's just scroll down a bit. Okay, and we are going to insert four now. Let's do that right here. Insert, well, that's kind of weird. Insert four. So let's redraw this. We've got two. And then one and three. And three are red. Right, and we have all of our nil nodes. Okay, and now we insert four here. Right, all of these insertions are based on um, binary search trees. Right, so we had to go to the right of three for four. Now we have another violation right here. Right. And uh, so we look at our cases, and this is going to be a case one. And that means that the uncle node is a red node. So let's, um, in that case, what we do is we change the color of the grandparent, the uncle, and the parent. Okay, so we're going to change all of those colors. Um, so I'm just going to write uh, color down here. And let's change our colors. So. Two is our root node. And then we have one and three. And we'll draw all the null nodes here. And then let's do our fourth node. And it's child nodes. Okay. So <clears throat> we're almost there. Right, but we mean we need to make sure that uh, the parent or the root, I mean, is a black node. So we have to change that really quick, and that's easy enough, right? Just change the color. So then we have two and one and three, and then we also have all these null nodes here. We've got four in its spot and the two null nodes. Now let's just double check. Do we uh, still have all the properties of a black or, or a uh, red black tree? We've got a black height of three here, three here, three here, three all the way down, and three all the way down. So we're good. On to the next number. So here let's insert a five, uh, let's see, insert five. So we're going to redraw our tree for the millionth time now. And three, null, null, null. Okay, so we've got four, and we are going to have a violation here, as you will see. Okay, so five. And let's just draw all the null nodes. It's kind of a weird square. Okay. All right? Clearly there is a violation. And we need to find out which case uh, we have so we know what to do. And this is a case three. And why is that? And that's because uh, the uncle is a black node, right? The uncle node is a black node. So uh, we also know that this is a right child of a right child. So we are going to do a left rotate around three. So let's do that. So two is our root node. One is here. Let's just draw its nodes. Okay, so now four should be here. 
and three will be off to the side here with its nodes and then we have five here and its child nodes okay now obviously we have one more uh, piece to do here right and that's to change the color right when we rotate we change the color of the parent and the grandparent right so let's do that uh, let me just scroll down a bit where's my thing okay here it is let's scroll down and we'll change the color so we have a two still one I know this takes a while but it's again it's good to do this so we've got four and three is going to change to red and five is also still red and then we've got all of our right nil nodes down here okay so we're good there one last element to insert okay and that is going to be six so we're going to redraw our tree two one four and then we're also going to have this both of these are red right three and five and then we also have six will be here but let's just draw these just to be complete okay and then six will be here I'll draw its child nodes All right clearly we have a violation so what case is this? The uncle is red, so this is a case one. All right, so let's write case one, and I'm gonna write color, because that's what we're gonna change. We change the color of the parent, the grandparent, and the uncle. So let's redraw our tree. Let's do two. Oops, let's just make that a little bit better. Two. I have one. Let's draw our fourth, right? Our four node here. Three changes color. Five changes color. We still have null nodes here and a null node there. Then six. Let's change stays the same right as red and its child nodes now this 4 becomes our new X right and we we check for violations again but here the parent node is a black node so we are good there and this tree uh, is complete it's good and let's verify that right we have a black height here of 3 we have another black height here of 3 we have a black height here of three, 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 and three. So we are good there.